All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, which do rule well through the Holy Spirit. And I want to say peace, blessings, and salutations unto you elect across the four ones of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas branch, and I'm coming to you all with another lesson, which is inspired by the Holy Spirit. And Lord willing, this lesson here will be edifying unto the flock. And this is going to be based on um, an article or a video, a piece of a video I'd rather say I saw. And it was stemming from pretty much a conversation that a few brothers and myself was having. As you look at this whole AI movement and such, you know, I mean, especially here in 2024, and we've even seen it heavily pushed in 2023, where you have a lot of artificial intelligence um, based apps that are being used by a lot of people. All right. You got the filters and such. And, and frankly, I'm going to say this. A lot of our, uh, our likeness is uh, being recorded and being used. Well, not a, a lot. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, there's a chance that our likeness and such can be recorded and be used for other platforms just because. Our faces are always on our phones. You know, you had at a point of time to unlock your, your phone. You know, you could actually have your fingerprint and your thumbprint to unlock your phone. And then later on, that segued into your face being um, being um, snippeted on your phone and that unlocks it. And now it's getting to the point where you can actually unlock your phone optically by scanning your eyeball. And frankly, again, I believe, I mean, you know, it's a lot of meanings behind it or what it could be, what it could be used for. But I believe a crucial portion of why they're allowing that to be done is that way that they can have us visually. They can have our voices, you know, they can they can mimic us and portray us every single way that they can. You know, and reason why I'm talking about all of this here, because, again, it's circling back to A.I., and these apps that are used by, well, at the end of the day, all apps are used by phones, which is AI at the end of the day. But you see how advanced, how technologically advanced this AI is getting, you know. And as we're in this new wave of AI in these last days, there's something interesting that um, some brothers came across and shared it on the chat. The elder in our camp, Micah Allah, ended up sharing this on the chat. And I ended up want to do a quick lesson on it. You know, just to go into how pretty much mostly everybody can see that E is the devil. You know, everybody can see that E don't got the juice no more. He don't got the sauce no more. And even AI can see that, you know, as much as E likes to use the AI to push his enterprise. Well, you even have facets of AI that's kind of spitting in E's face. And what I mean when I say this here, you have uh, an app. That's called, um, what's it called? It's called Google Gemini. And in this Google Gemini, all right, it's an app that creates AI generated pictures. You can type in the Pope, you can type in angels, whatever the case is. And Google Gemini is not allowing Edomite photos to be used to portray whatever is being portrayed. And when in our Lord willing, I post this um, clip in the description box. That way you can all check it out for yourself. You know, but he even titled it Google hates white people. New Google Gemini AI refuses to make pictures of white people. You know, and it's very spiritual because this is an AI generated app. You know, this is an AI generated app. So you can't just say one is being biased because it's AI. But this AI app refuses to use the likeness of Edomite's face. Of Edomite's faces, excuse me, you know, and again, it's really the spirit that's speaking and all facets are pointing to E being the devil. All right. All facets are pointing to to E being rejected. You know, E is being rejected on all sides. Even his own AI system is rejecting him. And there's a scripture that came to mind going into this, and I'm going to read it. And I'm going to read this here also in the New Living Translation. Because this scripture came to mind when I watched this video and as we was kind of talking about how this AI app is rejecting using the likeness of Edomites. 
But this is the book of uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. And I'm going to read verse 16 in the New Living Translation. And this here is pertaining to the wicked. All right. This here is pertaining to the wicked. So this is Habakkuk chapter two, verse 16 in the New Living Translation. And it says, but soon it will be your turn to be disgraced. Come drink and be exposed. Drink of the cup of the Lord's judgment and all your glory will be turned to shame. And this is part of that disgracing. Now, one can watch this video and I'm not talking about you, brothers and you sisters, but I'm talking about more so a so-called Christian, a vocab Malone or whoever. And they'll be like, well, I, this is really how, how can you all how, talking about us? Right. How can you all use this and say that white people are being disgraced because they're not being used in a in an app? Well, again, when you look at things according to the spirit, we live in a world where, you know, they've they've tried to be politically correct on all sides. We live in a world where they accept everything and every old body, you know, but this artificial intelligence, this app that people use, you know, when they use this and put the likeness and do they put pictures, you know, it can be used for a lot of things. But quite frankly, it's used again, you know, um, Again, I've never used the app before, so I don't really know the science behind it. You know, I'm not a big tech person, a big tech guy or anything like that, you know. But I guess on this app here, if you type in the Pope or if you type in angels or if you type in God or whatever, they, it refuses to use the likeness of Edomites, you know. So if you look at it through the spirit, it's definitely a sign of Esau being disgraced and also a sign that Esau don't got it no more, man. Their own technology that they created is turning their backs on them, you know, and it's also, you know, I'm, the scripture comes to mind and I'm going to explain it because I'm going to just say it because in Job, the fifth chapter, it talks about how, you know, the Lord is going to disappoint the devices of the crafty. And I know when I bring that precept out and that's in Job, chapter five, verse 12. But when I bring that precept out, I always tie it to the Lord pretty much cutting out Esau's plans as he's in the midst of wanting to fulfill his enterprise, which is the case. But also, too, even in a sense right here, like that Edomite that's recording that video was like, yo, what the hell is going on? Why? You know, why is this app not like white people, man? You know, well, hey, they're disappointed. Then, you know, that's even an account of the devices of the wicked being disappointed. You know, they created the enterprise to fulfill whatever they want to do. They created these apps and such. To, to be used what the hell they created it for. But that is just a small, minute example of that backfiring on them, because I'm pretty sure the creator of that did not intend. Well, I could be wrong, you know, but it don't seem like the creator of this app intended on using every other nation and Xing out the Edomites, Xing out the so-called white race. And again, it's nothing but an app. It's not a big deal when you look at it from a carnal perspective. But when you observe it through the lens of a spiritual individual, you can clearly see that this is not normal. You know, this is not normal. And when we say things are going to end up getting a lot more stranger, when we say things are going to get a lot more severe in these last days, this is what we mean. Just little stuff like that. This devil is being rejected and denied on all sides, even including his own artificial intelligence that he's creating, his own AI that he's creating. And we've been saying this, they're creating this stuff here and it's going to end up not working out for him. And the scriptures talks about it. All right. The scriptures say, you know, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight. So when he's thinking that he's going to fulfill his ultimate new world order, you know, it's not going to work. The Lord is going to put a stop to it. You know, and the more that we continue to live here in this society and see the Lord working, you know, the more that we see these draconian measures that this devil will continue to put out until he's stopped. You're going to notice that it's going to get a lot more tackier. And as these things get more tackier, you're also going to notice how the Lord is on our side more and more. You know, you remember back, well, you know, some of y'all might remember, some of y'all might not. But I remember uh, back in about what, 2019, 2018, 2019, I believe it was about 2018. And you had the whole, um, the whole, uh, I believe that was in, uh, what was that? And that was either in South Carolina, maybe it was in D.C., but with the whole MAGA hat ordeal, you know, you had a lot of those students with the MAGA hats, you know, and then you had the Gadite playing the drum and such like that, whatever. But you had the, the group, the group of Israel, Israelites called them HOI. You know, I believe that's HOI or AOI, pretty much the pull up boys. 
which what's his name? Um, Chief Ephraim is no longer a pull up boy anymore. <laughs> you know, what happened to that guy? But anyway, when they went over there and they 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 talked, I don't want to call it preaching, but pretty much when they made themselves known, those group of Israelites that were out there that made national news. And frankly, we was looking at the news like, yo, golly, they they talking about this quite heavily. Then it came out of nowhere. It was very unexpected. And it just happened. You know, when people started talking about it and, you know, they was talking about the Israelites and interviewing people and it made Fox, excuse me, it made Fox News, you know. So it just happened in the spur of a moment, you know, and that's all it takes is just the spur of a moment for something to shake. And we definitely see it. But I brought all that up to say, I brought all that up to say, you know, these things are happening and we're in a time right now where things are changing. You know, and the Lord is definitely speaking, you know, as you read it about it in uh, second Ezra, the sixth chapter where it's written that Esau is the end of the world, you know, and there's so many signs and tokens that are out here to show forth and prove that this is clearly the latter end of Esau's rulership. And just even something as simple as this as this AI generated app that generates pictures and it denying and rejecting using the face of Edomites on there, like that's a sign right there, you know? <laughs> that's a clear sign to show you that they don't got it no more. They don't got the juice. They ain't the man no more, you know? They ain't the man no more. They don't got it, you know? And it's about time too. But I'm gonna end it there. I didn't intend on making this lesson long at all, you know, probably about 10 minutes and such, but I thought that was very interesting to see. And Lord willing, I'll post that link in the description box so you all can check out that video too. But it's a wrap for these Edomites. It's over for Babylon and it's over for Edomites. It's over. You know, even their own technology is saying it. But I'm going to end it off on that. Hopefully this was edifying. Shalom.